live with Rob Report. Being drawn to it, it could be as early as uh, seeing a pair of Jordan 3s. You in Kara City Middle, the average sneaker may have been 20 bucks, which was highly respected. If you had on a pair of $20 sneakers, that was that was honorable. So when you seen a dude walk in and they had on $65 Jordans with the snake skin on the back or whatever it was, you, you, it was real clear. It was, once everybody was getting dropped off to school, you understood what luxury was right then. You seen that Jaguar, you were stepping out of your Buick. And I don't take nothing away from my dad Buick. We love, we love my dad Buick, you know what I'm saying? But you, you, you understood it early. And I was attracted to it early. By the time I was in third grade, I knew I wanted to be riding in leather seats. Man, we need that. Yeah, it's like that. Honestly, I don't know how many cars I have because I've got different numbers from different people that's on my team, different homies that work for me. They spread it out over eight different states. And I get it. But we're going to figure out this year at this upcoming car show. I'm going to just make sure they all there. At the very first car show, I had over 100 cars there. But, I, you know, I kind of felt like I took up more space than I should have because there was a lot more people that showed up to the car show than I was anticipating. So the second car show, I turned, back, I turned it down some. But now it's, it was the... The, the debate of how many cars I actually own, so we're going to answer that at the third car show. When it comes to shopping, I love to go shopping. I love it. Louis Vuitton, number one. It's nothing else next to that. You got the No. You're wearing Balenciaga today. LV, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they need to make me some sweatsuits. <laughs> I mean, because the, the few that, you know, I, I ran across, I got them all, in, you know. But, yeah, LV is, is number one. When it come to other, you know, traveling bags, I love Goyard, you know, stuff like that. You know, it's whatever the vibe is, but LV, it's nothing close to that. There were, there were a few businesses before Wingstop. There were. We talking barber shops. Let's say we talking this, we talking that because. Rose, I'm, I'm with that. I'm with that. And even now, um, you know, when I get approached for little things, they don't really be on the scale, but I invest in little things here and there, you know, just different things. And really, it was, I believe it was my infatuation with franchising, restaurants, being, a, you know, owning restaurants. That was just something I believe I was fascinated with as a youngster, walking in those restaurants and walking in and, walking right in the back and just picking that, that fried shrimp up and you know so um that was something i'm glad i got into it was most definitely a positive experience i believe it's time to take it to another level now i want to do something different i've always dreamed of owning different businesses and one is the nfl team and that would be the miami dolphins <laughs> comes to the team that helps me manage my finances that's my mother and my sister yes yes that's 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 the brain and of course we have my attorney we have my this my that and you know but you know the brain is is my mom and my sister real small real small team i love being a part of discussing the numbers when it comes to financial um what we accomplish and what we achieving what i'm spending what I, you know, enjoyed myself like last, you know, last month or what, what did, you know, whatever it is, you want to be a part and hands on with everything you're doing. That's what it is. And if you're not doing it, if you have your mother there doing it, your sister, you know, and if this is your team, you have to be a part of that. And I, I recommend that for everyone. No one should ever get too big for that. You can't be too busy for that. And I'm talking about when it comes to me, my everyday moves, when it comes to my plays being made, you know, this is my small table that 
you know, I make moves with. We don't, I don't have, you know, these people that, yeah, I want to buy an island over there and you guys go, nah. If we purchasing anything, if I'm purchasing anything, this is hands on. And this is coming directly from me, my sister, or whatever it is. So, most definitely. And you want to know what you're spending. You want to know what you're making. You want to know if it was a great week. Not just a great month. Was it a great week? How many checker burgers did we sell this week? How were those french fries for that Halloween weekend? <laughs> nah, I'm not going to say that. You know, because I stick to the script. I'm most definitely a boss. I'm here for the long term. You know what I mean? So have I bought things that, you know, I done came to the table and sat down with? Of course I bought things that my mom was like, you know, me buying the promised land. You know, my mom was like, Will, what are you doing? This is a 109-room house. What are you doing with a 109-room house? Mom, this is a great investment, you know? And I tell her my vision, and it's just, you know, I got one of those moms that, you know, for one, she's so supportive of me. And when I explain it to her what it is I see in it, because we not just fucking up. That, that ain't what Rose do. We not fucking up, you know what I mean? Um, if I have a vision, am I a gambler? Will I throw the dice? I will. I will. But when I bring what my plans are or what I see to the table, just like, for example, the promised land. Um, you know, my mom told me this is a 109-room home. You own five homes or whatever it is. What do you want to do with this? Mama, this what I see. And she just look at me and, you know, when I call her two days later, you ready to do it? I'm ready. You ready? She said, I'm ready. Let's go. It took us a long time. I didn't just wake up and have a hit record in six months. Ricky Rose did a lot of different things for a lot of different artists and missed out on a lot of different credits. Do you see the vision? Oh, I see the vision. I see it, and it's clear. Honestly, everything Rose do is for the team. That's for my empire. If you got my last name, yeah, when I say the team, I'm speaking of my last name, the Empire. <laughs> I stayed within my budget, I did. I did, just like a boss. As a boss, you should. <laughs> Yo, what's happening? It's the biggest boss in the game, Ricky Rose, right here live with Rob Report. <laughs> began the process of buying a jet a little less than a year ago. I just spent maybe six months looking at different planes, understanding the difference, this, that, this, that, you know, just all the small things, the details, and 